In nuclear physics, the island of stability is the prediction that a set of heavy nuclides with a near magic number of protons and neutrons will temporarily reverse the trend of decreasing stability in elements heavier than uranium. Although predictions of the exact location differ somewhat, Klaus Blom expects the island of stability to occur in the atomic mass region near the nuclide 300,120 UBN. Estimates of the stability of the elements on the island are usually around a half-life of minutes or days, however, some estimates predict half-lives of millions of years. Although the nuclear shell model has existed since the 1960s, the existence of such super-heavy, relatively stable nuclides has not been demonstrated. Like the rest of the super-heavy elements, the nuclides on the island of stability have never been found in nature, and so must be created artificially in a nuclear reaction to be studied. However, scientists have not found a way to carry out such a reaction. In a nuclide graph of protons and neutrons with the third dimension of height being the binding energy, the stability region appears as a valley instead of an island. Theory and origin The possibility of an island of stability was first proposed by Glenn T. Seaborg in the late 1960s. The hypothesis is based upon the nuclear shell model, which implies that the atomic nucleus is built up in shells, in a manner similar to the structure of the much larger electron shells in atoms. In both cases, shells are just groups of quantum energy levels that are relatively close to each other. Energy levels from quantum states in two different shells will be separated by a relatively large energy gap, so when the number of neutrons and protons completely fills the energy levels of a given shell in the nucleus, the binding energy per nucleon will reach a local maximum and thus that particular configuration will have a longer lifetime than nearby nuclides that do not possess filled shells. Magic numbers A filled shell would have magic numbers of neutrons and protons. This idea of a magic number derives from the counterpart of electron shells. The magic number for electron shells is reached when their outermost orbital is completely full. This is what gives the noble gases their chemical stability. Similarly, it is believed that there are complete shells in the nucleus that stabilize the nucleus. One possible magic number of neutrons for spherical nuclei is 184, and some possible matching proton numbers are 114, 120 and 126 which would mean that the most stable spherical nuclides would be fluorobium-298, UNBINILIUM-304 and UNBIHEXIUM-310. Of particular note is 298 Florida, which would be doubly magic. Both its proton number of 114 and neutron number of 184 are thought to be magic, and thus the most likely to have a very long half-life. The next lighter doubly magic spherical nucleus is lead-208, the heaviest known stable nucleus and most stable heavy metal. Deformed nuclei Studies from the early 1990s, and previous to that time, have shown that super-heavy elements do not have perfectly spherical nuclei. A shell is considered stable when it is in a spherical form. A change in the shape of the nucleus changes the position of neutrons and protons in the shell, thus skewing the numbers. Recent research indicates that large nuclei are deformed, causing magic numbers to shift. A nucleus can have a magic number of neutrons or a magic number of protons. When the nucleus has magic numbers of both protons and neutrons, it can be said to be doubly magic. Hassium-270 is now believed to be a doubly magic deformed nucleus, with deformed magic numbers 108 and 162. It has a half-life of 3.6 seconds. Experiments Whilst elements with atomic numbers expected for the island of stability have been produced, the total nucleon count of these nuclides has been too low. These synthesized nuclides have contained too few neutrons to reach the supposed stable region. It is possible that these elements possess unusual chemical properties and, if they have isotopes with adequate lifespans, would be available for various practical applications, such as particle accelerator targets and as neutron sources as well. 
In particular, the very small critical masses of transplutonic elements, possibly as small as grams, implies that if stable elements could be found, they would enable small and compact nuclear bombs either directly or by serving as primaries to help ignite fission fusion secondaries. This possibility motivated much of the early research in the 1960s and multiple nuclear tests by the United States, including Operation Plowshare, and the Soviet Union aimed at producing such elements. Half-lives of the highest numbered elements All elements with an atomic number above 82 lead, are unstable, and the stability half-life of the longest-lived known isotope of elements generally decreases with rising atomic numbers from the relatively stable uranium 92 upwards to the heaviest known element, Oganesson 118. The longest lived observed isotopes of each of the heaviest elements are shown in the following table. The half lives of nuclei in the island of stability itself are unknown since none of the nuclides that would be on the island have been observed. Many physicists think they are relatively short, on the order of minutes or days. Some theoretical calculations indicate that their half lives may be long, on the order of 109 years. The alpha decay half lives of 1700 nuclei with 100 Z130 have been calculated in a quantum tunneling model with both experimental and theoretical alpha decay Q values. The theoretical calculations are in good agreement with the available experimental data. A possible stronger decay mode for the heaviest super heavies was shown to be cluster decay by Doran N. Pinaru, R.A. Gergescu, and Walter Greiner. Islands of relative stability 232th thorium, 235u and 238u uranium are the only naturally occurring nuclides beyond bismuth that are relatively stable over the current lifespan of the universe. Even bismuth was found to be slightly unstable in 2003, with an alpha emission half-life of 1.9 times 1,019 years for 209 by. All elements beyond bismuth have relatively or very unstable isotopes, astatine, radon, and francium are extremely short-lived, and only have half-lives longer than isotopes of the heaviest elements found so far. Even thorium, with the largest known half-life in this region, 1.4 times 1,010 years for 232 th, is still about a billion times shorter than 209 by, so the main periodic table ends there. By geographical analogy, bismuth is the shore edge of a continent. A continental shelf continues though, with shallows beginning at radium c. map at right, that rapidly drop off again after californium. Significant islands appear at thorium and uranium, and with minor ones, i.e. neptunium, plutonium and curium, form an archipelago. All of this is surrounded by a sea of instability. As can be seen from the table, there is a significantly large gap between the half-lives of the longest-lived actinide nuclides the primordial 232th, 238u, and 235u, separated sharply from the long-lived 244pu, 236u, 247cm, and 237 napers, and those of the others. Current theoretical investigation indicates that in the region Z. 106 to 108 and n approximately equals 160 to 164 a small island peninsula might be stable with respect to fission and beta decay such super heavy nuclei undergoing only alpha decay also 298 florida is not the center of the magic island as predicted earlier on the contrary the nucleus with z 110 n 183 293Ds appears to be near the center of a possible magic island Z 104 to 116 n approximately equals 176 to 186 in the n approximately equals 162 region the beta stable fission survived 268 sg is predicted to have alpha decay half life approximately equals 3.2 hours that is greater than that approximately equals 28 s of the deformed doubly magic 270 hs the super heavy nucleus 268 sg has not been produced in the laboratory as yet 2009 
for super heavy nuclei with Z greater than 116 and N approximately equals 184 the alpha decay half lives are predicted to be less than 1 second. The nuclei with Z 120, 124, 126 and N 184, 304 UBN, 308 UBQ, and 310 UBH are predicted to form spherical doubly magic nuclei and be stable with respect to fission. Calculations in a quantum tunneling model show that such super-heavy nuclei would undergo alpha decay within microseconds or less. Synthesis problems the manufacture of nuclei on the island of stability proves to be very difficult because the nuclei available as starting materials do not deliver the necessary sum of neutrons. For the synthesis of isotope 298 of fluorovium, one could use an isotope of plutonium and one of calcium that together have a sum of at least 298 nucleons, for example, calcium 50 and plutonium 248. These and heavier nuclides are not available in measurable quantities, making production virtually impossible with current methods. The same problem exists for the other possible combinations of nuclides needed to generate elements on the island using target projectile methods. It may be possible to generate the isotope 298 of fluorovium, if the multinucleon transfer reactions would work in low-energy collisions of actinide nuclei. One of these reactions may be 248 Cm plus 238 U 298 Florida plus 186 W plus 210 N. Hypothetical second island At the 235th National Meeting of the American Chemical Society in 2008, the idea of a second island of stability was presented by Yuri Oganesian. This new island would be centered on element 164, especially the isotope 482 UHQ, with a stability similar to that of fluorovium. It is thought that to be able to synthesize these elements, a new, stronger particle accelerator would be needed. See also Island of inversion Table of nuclides References External links Six new isotopes of the super-heavy elements discovered October 26, 2010, Physorg News. Inc. Chart of Heavy Nuclides Exploring the Island of Super-Heavy Elements April 2010, Redecay of 117, with chart Hunting the Biggest Atoms in the Universe, July 23, 2008, claimed finding natural atoms of 122 protons and 170 neutrons. The Hunt for Super Heavy Elements, April 7, 2008, Prediction of Seaborgium 290 Half-Life of 108 Years. Here Be Stability, Nature August 2006 with JINR Diagram of Heavy Nuclides and Predicted IOS. Super Heavy Elements, July 2004 Yuri Oganesian of JINR UUT and UUP add their atomic mass to periodic table, February 2004 Can Super Heavy Elements, such as Z equals 116 or 118, be formed in a supernova? Can we observe them? 2004. Maybe. Second postcard from the Island of Stability, October 2001, Nuclides with 116 protons and mass 292 The synthesis of spherical superheavy nuclei in 48 Ca-induced reactions reports the 1999 synthesis of Z. 114, N plus Z 287 New elements discovered and the island of stability cited, August 1999, includes report on article later retracted. First postcard from the island of nuclear stability, 1999, first few Z equals 114 atoms. Nova, island of stability, 2006. 13 meters TV segment, with transcript. 
New York Times editorial by Oliver Sacks regarding the Island of Stability Theory, February 2004 Re 113 and 115 Tendency Equation and Curve of Stable Nuclides